The Moringa tree is often referred to as the miracle tree, with a miracle tea, or even the tree of life. Which is probably why all the big money medical misers of the world aren't promoting it all that much. This amazing tea comes from the Moringa oleifera tree, which has been called the drumstick tree because of how its pods look, and we're talking drums drumsticks, not turkey leg drumsticks. It's also called the horseradish tree because of its piquant aftertaste, and the ben oil tree because of the oil that's derived from its pods. Some people even call it mother's best friend. The reason why it's called that will be coming later in the video. Moringa comes from northern India. And what makes it so unique is that it's considered one of the least wasteful plants in the world. Meaning you can use every part of the Moringa plant, from the leaves down to the roots. Moringa has also been dubbed one of the most nutritious plants in the world. Moringa leaves contain a whopping 92 nutrients, 46 natural antioxidants, and 18 of the 20 amino acids. Including all 9 of the essential amino acids the body can't produce naturally. This includes a colossal 27 vitamins, many of which blow away the big names of the nutritional food and veggie market. Moringa battle! Now before you go crazy in the comments, I've heard various versions of this. But according to one study, Moringa versus carrots? See ya! Moringa has 10 times more vitamin A. Oranges? Please. Moringa has 7 times more vitamin C. Milk? Don't even make me laugh. Moringa has 17 times more calcium. Yogurt? Yo better get out of here cause Moringa has 9 times more protein. Bananas. Oh come on, it can't be bananas. Yes it can. 15 times more potassium. And if you aren't astounded yet, how about Moringa versus the almighty spinach? Moringa crushes its iron content by 25 times. There are some sources that say the gap isn't quite that big. But all of the sources agree, Moringa is still crushing all of these competitors. Isothiocyanates. Did I just really get that right on the first take? That is accurate. Yes, that is accurate. Yes. Studies show that these are powerful inflammation fighting warriors that can help reduce pain and fight chronic inflammation problems like strokes, diabetes, arthritis, and even obesity. It can even help with the painful swelling addi- I can say isothiocyanates, but apparently I can't say the word condition. It can even help with- <laughs> Wow, it's getting worse. It can even help with the painful swelling condition called edema. There is even research on Moringa helping to heal wounds. However, all of this research is on Moringa extract, so it's hard to say right now how much the tea will actually help you. A study on rabbits, yay rabbits, showed that Moringa lowered serum cholesterol levels by 50%, pretty significant, and the formation of plaque in the arteries by 86%, even more significant. While the experts of course want even more research. Obviously, the benefits of Moringa tea have been thoroughly backed up by existing research with flying colors so far. Is your mind blown yet? Well if not, let's get you there. I found multiple studies on how Moringa tea can help boost cognitive abilities and memory. It can also help with Alzheimer's, dementia, and even help reduce those unwieldy migraines and chronic headaches. For a headache sufferer like myself, that definitely makes Moringa sound a little bit heaven sent. And these phenomenal cosmic powers benefits. Don't stop there. Because it's so good at aiding serotonin and dopamine levels, it can even help balance your mood and help with anxiety. If digestion and gut health is your bugaboo, Moringa tea has a wide variety of extraordinary benefits. Bugaboo. I like that word. Is there any chance we can make it cool again? Two separate studies on mice showed how Moringa can help regulate and improve digestion and how Moringa tea relieved acid reflux symptoms. Its anti-inflammatory and antibacterial benefits help to fight gastritis, colitis, and more commonplace problems like gas, bloating, cramping, and that ever so uncomfortable constipation. I briefly mentioned earlier how Moringa tea can help regulate blood glucose levels. You didn't say that. I did say that. I didn't say it like that. Well, I didn't say it with an accent, but I said yeah, whatever. In particular, experts say it can be extra effective after a meal. There was also a study that showed how Moringa can help with insulin levels when eaten with a high carbohydrate meal. So have your tea before, during, or after your meal, because apparently it's going to help you one way or another. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Now most of these studies haven't been on humans, and the only human studies we have in this category are very small, but very promising. One study showed that 30 women had a 13.5% reduction in fasting blood sugar levels. Another study on just 6 people, 
Why just six? No idea. Found that Moringa reduced the rise of blood sugar by 21%. If you want to talk miraculous abilities, then this may very well be the most astounding aptitude of Moringa tea. Studies have shown that Moringa is effective against, get this, pancreatic cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, oral cancers, and possibly other cancers as well. That's a lot of cancers. How, you may ask? It can not only neutralize cancer-causing free radicals, but can trigger cell death in growing tumors. But that's not even where it stops. Oh no, the miracle that is Moringa tea can even help improve the effects of chemotherapy in cancer patients. All in all, sounds like Moringa tea is earning its heavenly reputation. Like and share. Like share the video, not like share the singer. The heavenly helpful hits keep coming from Moringa tea, as a 2018 study showed how it can decrease fat formation and boost the metabolizing of fat cells. In addition, Moringa helps to mobilize stored visceral fat out of your body. One particular glowing clinical trial showed how a combination of Moringa and turmeric tea over eight weeks lost an incredible 165% more weight than the placebo group. In addition to helping with the aforementioned digestive issues that can occur with PS. MS. Experts say a hot cup of Moringa tea can also help with mood swings, pains like menstrual cramps, and the aforementioned migraine problems. Man, have I already covered all these benefits for women? Y'all just double covered today, ladies. Hold on, there's always more. One study says that Moringa tea can help prevent stunted growth in children during pregnancy. And here we go, the reason why Moringa tea is called mother's best friend. Moringa can also possibly act as a galactagogue, increasing natural lactation for breastfeeding. Make sense now? Is it just me, or is anyone else here Galactagog and think of Battlestar Galactica? If you didn't before, you'll probably think of it every time now you hear it. Galactagog. Galactica. Galactagog. Galactica. Booyah! Everybody's gotta love the sex benefits. Am I right? Huh? No? <sighs> okay. Studies have shown Moringa can boost testosterone, help with erectile dysfunction, increase sexual performance, and pep up everyone's libido. And if you're looking to get pregnant, then you're gonna wanna load up on Moringa tea as well as it's been shown to boost reproductive health. Been drinking a little too much arsenic lately? If so, you might wanna rethink your life choices. No! And then get some Moringa tea and or some medical assistance. Nowadays, arsenic toxicity is mostly caused by contaminated food or water. Luckily, studies on rats thus far have shown Moringa to be effective against arsenic contamination. Though, of course, it would be nice to see some human studies to back this up as well. You know, some guys just can't hold their arsenic. Antioxidant power is one of the best things to help with skin and hair problems. Whoa, surprise fact. Moringa boasts a massive ORAC score of 157,000, which is indeed miraculous, as that places it in the top 10 of all herbs and spices when it comes to antioxidants. Moringa tea's amino acids, vitamins like A and B complex, and minerals like iron and zinc all help to promote stronger, shinier hair. Moringa also helps to improve hair growth, soothes dry or even burnt skin, and evades that dreaded hair loss. Evidence shows that Moringa can even help with acne and skin breakouts, anti-skin aging, boosting collagen production, and even adding suppleness to your skin. Granted, studies show that for many of these skin and hair benefits, you might be better suited using a direct topical application to your skin. But the tea definitely can still help. I mean, there's even hair rinses involving Moringa tea. Moringa's multifaceted capabilities can also help protect your liver against damage caused by anti-tubercular drugs. And that's just the start. Its polyphenols can even help speed up the repair of damaged tissue in your liver. It's even a mighty protector against heavy metals toxins, or drug exposure. And on top of all that, Moringa's even been shown to help with kidney stones. That's kidney and not liver, but hey, you can't ask for more than that, can you? Maybe you can. Because Moringa tea can also possibly help with all of these conditions as well. All right, yeah, I mean, come on. You can't stop it. Moringa's the best. Now I know some of you gotta be thinking, what's the catch? True, the FDA doesn't currently regulate Moringa, but most experts have been saying for centuries it's generally safe for use. Moreover, Moringa tea is considered safer than other forms of Moringa, like its roots and bark, which can be a lot more corrosive than Moringa tea and cause nasty problems like paralysis and miscarriages. But as for the tea itself, the most likely problems will occur from overconsumption. And most of these side effects are various forms of stomach distress that you're gonna expect to have when you overindulge in something. The most important thing to watch out for is having Moringa tea while you're on certain prescription drugs. 
Blood pressure, thyroid, and blood thinning drugs in particular can be affected by Moringa usage. And while there is evidence out there that says Moringa tea is fine for breastfeeding, some experts say to err on the side of caution as more research needs to be done. Probably the biggest negative with Moringa tea is it's not a tasty, tasty treat. Kid agrees. Though some say it has a nice earthy taste similar to matcha tea. Though many say it tastes more like spinach and triggers their gag reflex. So having your cup of Moringa tea with honey, lemon, or other herbs is definitely going to make it more enjoyable. When making fresh Moringa tea, you're going to want to steep the leaves in boiling water for about 3 to 5 minutes. Any longer is just going to encourage the questionable flavor. But hey, if you're a fan of that spinachy flavor in your tea, go for it. Who are you? The optimal dose of Moringa is a maximum of 70 grams per day, which means having a cup of the tea isn't going to be a problem, as an average cup will maybe have 5 to 10 grams at the most. And like with most teas, having 3 cups or less of it per day is probably best. Thus ends the saga of the most holy of teas. To learn about another amazing tea, watch this video next. As always, be kind, take care of each other, and let me know in the comments down below if you've ever experienced the amazing powers of Moringa tea.